Hello guys, welcome back to the Kilohertz Mercedes channel and I hope you're safe and well. This video you join me with my new G55 AMG compressor and I'm going to be showing you how you access the headlight unit so you can swap and replace the bulbs. Now compared to normal Mercedes models, um, actually replacing a bulb is extremely difficult on this, possibly due to the car originally coming out in the 70s. It actually involves removing the whole headlight assembly just to access the bulbs. So in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you do this. So let's get started. Okay, to start with, before continuing, if your G-Wagon has the optional brush guard fitted, or bull bar as it's more commonly known, you'll need to either remove this or pivot it forward with the special tool. Check out my separate video where I show you how to remove this. So what we need to do first is unscrew the headlight surrounds to start with, via the two screw holes under each light, and then lift it off to access the actual headlight unit. Locate these and with a thin T25 bit screwdriver, start unscrewing them. From factory it will be a T25, however mine was a Phillips head screwdriver for some reason. Unscrew each bolt about halfway. Now it's very important you don't completely undo the bolt as this will make things extremely difficult later on, plus you may even lose the bolts also. With each bolt loosened, grab the top of the headlights around and carefully pull upwards. Should you feel any resistance, hold on to the bottom of the surround also and carefully wiggle it to free the clips until it's completely free. Carefully remove any cabling which may be trapped around the forks. Take a look at this close up which shows you clearly what's holding the surround in place and how it needs to be freed. The headlight surround will still be connected to the washer hose. If you don't need to fix this hose, leave it well alone. With the aid of a small rag or towel, rest the still connected surround onto the bumper. The towel will act to prevent any bodywork from getting scratched or damaged. It's now time to remove the actual headlight. Locate the 3 times 10 mil bolts. My car however has 3 different types of bolt fitted, possibly a result of the previous owner facelifting the car to a new model. However your car should have the 10 mil bolts. After removing the first bolt, pay close attention to the light unit. It weighs over a kilo and the last thing you want is it falling down and smashing. They're very expensive units. Once the last bolt has been unscrewed, carefully remove the light unit. It may be helpful to rotate it clockwise slightly to prevent it from getting stuck on a mounting screw. Now the light unit is free of your car. It will still be connected via two loom connectors. Undo these via the safety clips. The largest is the main headlight and the smallest connector is for the W5W side light. So let's have a look at the actual light unit. As I mentioned earlier, the light is fairly heavy and made from glass, so you want to handle it carefully to avoid smashing it. Around the side is the Xenon ballast, which is held in with a couple of small screws should you ever have a faulty unit and need to replace it. A couple of beam adjustment dials and of course the two connector sockets which you disconnected earlier are found around the back. So to remove the side light, simply twist the small connector anti-clockwise slightly until it becomes free. Carefully remove it and you'll see the W5W side light. Now I've already fitted some error-free LED side lights but here's what a standard bulb should look like. 
To refit it after replacing the bulbs, simply refit the connector and turn it clockwise until it locks into place. Ensure that it's a snug fit to prevent any moisture from entering. Next onto the main light unit. Whether it's a halogen or xenon unit, simply rotate this cover until it's free. Inside you'll see the light unit, which is held in with a couple of tabs to hold it in place. When refitting, also ensure that the cover is snug and there's no chance of any water or moisture from gaining access to the inside of the light unit. Now I'm going to clean this unit up before fitting it back into place. So it's now time to refit everything back into place. This is essentially just the reverse process, but take your time and carefully handle the actual light unit at all times. Ensure that both of the connectors are reconnected snugly. When positioning it back into place, rotate it slightly anti-clockwise to ensure that you can get past the various different bolt holes. Start by inserting the first bolt into place. Now I find that the bolt nearest the outer edge of the car to be the easiest. Only screw it in about halfway. This will hold the light and also give you enough clearance to align the other bolts correctly. Continue to replace the other two screws and ensure that they are all tightly secure. Now it's time to refit the headlight trim surround. This is a very tricky process as you have to ensure that both of the bottom forks are positioned over the bottom two screws, as well as ensure that the two upper tags are in place and inserted into the two relevant holes at the top of the car's wing or fenders. This close up should show you exactly what needs to go where. Start at the bottom and pivot the surround over the headlight. When it looks roughly in place, press down on the top to click it into place. Now there will be some degree of fettling involved to get the entire surround sitting correctly and flush. When you are happy with the rough position of the surround, start to tighten the two screws which hold it in place. Remember to go round each side and check that you're happy with its overall position. If not, simply loosen the screws once again and adjust to your preference until it looks perfect. And that completes the job, possibly the most complex way of changing a Mercedes side light or main headlight bulb. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. Now, as I mentioned at the start, compared to other Mercedes models, it's extremely difficult and it's a bit of a stupid design, the fact you actually have to remove the headlight unit just to replace the bulbs. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done already, consider clicking on that subscribe button with bell icon so you're notified as soon as I upload new videos and content. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, cheers.